In this video, I will share how I passed the Google Cloud Professional Data Engineer Certification exam in 14 days after falling on the first attempt. I collected immediately my learning path, study materials, and test experience, especially the lesson learned and further learning loads for the second attempt of the exam. I usually got my IT certification in the first attempt, but this time I did twice. The big challenge is that you need to choose the best solution from all durable answers in some questions. So this certification exam is very difficult. At the time of recording this video, the Google Cloud Professional Data Engineer Certification Exam is a 2-hour exam with 40 questions. All questions are multi-choice and multi-select. The questions in the exam focused on the real scenario-based use cases and your hands-on experience with Google Cloud Service. You can take it remotely. There are no prerequisites for this exam but Google expects you to have a hands-on designing and operating data process system use the Google Cloud service and the big data analytics experience. Take some time to go through this page on the exam guide. You can find many good structured online courses for this exam Take the free trial opportunity of those courses to find the one that fits with your learning style. At the time of recording of this video, Google Cloud provides free training courses for its certification exams. After you click register now, you will go to the certification journey page. Select the certification you will take in the registration form. Then you will receive an email with a pro site and a quick notes offers to help you prepare for your certification exam. It's a six week preparation for the exam with a one month free access. If this offer is no longer available when you are viewing this video, you can go to the Coursera or pro site directly to search for this course. I took data engineering with the Google Cloud Professional Certification Training Path from Coursera. There are six courses in this Professional Certification Training Path. This course provides you comprehensive information on Google Cloud Data Engineering fundamentals, hands-on laboratories in the quick labs, and sample exam questions. Take the benefit of the free enrollment option, save the PDFs of the slides from these courses to review them before the exam. The certification exam will expect you to not only understand big data and machine learning fundamentals, but also be able to design, build, operationalize, secure, and monitor data processing systems. So you should gain hands-on experience with Google Cloud free tier. Coursera and Pluralsight courses provide hands-on laboratories. I did all the hands-on practice in the quick labs. You will face the exam questions very similar to the hands-on practice from quick labs. I also collected the GCP Professional Cloud Architect Certification Learning Videos and the Google Cloud Professional Data Engineering Certification Learning Videos from Google Cloud for your reference. Both videos will help you to learn the fundamentals of Google Cloud services and the best practice of each cloud service in the exam. I will make a series of last-minute cheat sheets like I did for the GCP Professional Cloud Architect Certification, especially the GCP documentation, learning materials, and trick topics that I use for the second attempt. 
Now let me share my lessons learned from my online exam experience. You will receive either pass or fail at the end of the exam. There is no official passing score from Google. It will take 7 to 10 days for Google to evaluate your remote test result before Google releases your certification information. If you failed on the first attempt, then you need to wait 14 days to re-register for your next attempt and pay for each attempt. You can register the exam on the same day when you feel you are ready. You should have enough time to read and understand each question, so don't rush in to complete the exam. It does have long description questions that are a little bit longer than you saw on Google sample questions. I did have two very similar sample questions in the first attempt and one sample question in the second attempt. So use Google sample questions as much as you can and try to understand the key points behind all of those questions. If you are stumped on something, don't spend too much time on it. Just flag those questions for letter review and select your best guess. If you failed on the first attempt like me, instead of spending time to blame yourself, just write down all the topics, questions that you suspect you might be wrong. In my case, I wrote down the, the window functions in the data flow, difference between Kafka and PubSub, BigQuery table access, etc for the further learning. The example will, tell you, will test your deep knowledge and your hands-on experience in big data analytics and machine learning. So even you have a basic knowledge of GCP services or you passed a GCP professional cloud architect certification like me, you still need to spend a lot of time to deep diving into those topics. I will share the detailed documentations that I used to learn for my second attempt in the series videos of last minute cheat sheets. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. Thank you.